In this video, we are going to unbox this ASUS ProArt 32PAUCG monitor. Now, I reviewed its predecessor last year, the PA32UCX, and this uses mini LED backlight technology with 1152 local dimming zones. And it will also be using an IPS LCD panel with quantum dot enhancement film on top to give you that really white color gamut. The rated peak brightness is now up to 1600 nits according to ASUS, and it actually has been certified by Visa as Display HDR 1400. Now, what is special about this monitor is its HDMI 2.1 support. So it not only supports HDMI 2.1 to allow for 4K 120Hz, it will also be supporting AMD FreeSync Premium Pro up to 120Hz VRR, and the VRR range is from 48Hz to 120Hz. So this monitor is actually targeted towards content creators, especially those who are working in the gaming industry to work on their VRR games to try and master their HDR games so that you know they can look the best on consumer televisions. And if you need a color accurate work monitor to work on your games, then I think this might be the ticket. But let us just unbox this unit and see what we get inside the box. <laughs> So I will first undo these plastic clips here. And I think, you know, any product that has plastic clips, I usually think that the manufacturer has more confidence in terms of allowing the user to maybe box the TV up or monitor up to return the product because, you know, I unboxed lots of televisions and the thing I hate most is TV boxes that you know, I need to rebox because of my profession, because I don't get to keep all of these monitors and televisions. So I need to rebox them and actually send them back to the manufacturers. And if they come with just a strap that I have to cut off, and then when the time comes to, for me to rebox it, it's just a mess really, you know, with tape all over. And I think, you know, this inspires confidence, you know, from the part of the consumer and also from myself that a manufacturer putting in plastic clips you know, so that, you know, reboxing is easier. So what we'll do is to just lift this box up and then we'll see what we get inside. Now, the thing is, I don't know what's inside and I don't know whether the monitor is actually facing me or actually facing the camera. But what we get here, I think, you know, if you can see from the camera is basically a calibration report. So I think with most pro art displays, ASUS have calibrated these displays individually at factory and they supply a calibration report. And if I can look at it, you know, I think they are using, you know, more expensive equipment than myself to calibrate these sets. So they are using the CS2000 and also the CA310. And then there are various, you know, delta errors. And I think that, you know, they are all below the perceptible threshold. And then what we get on top here is basically the monitor hood, I believe. And I'm not going to be opening it up, but I mean, this will be useful. Let's say if you are working in a brighter environment and you want to stop light from actually spilling onto the screen and creating glare and reflections. So this monitor hood may be useful to try and prevent that. And then what we'll do is we will take out this box here. I don't know what's inside here. I have no idea what's this. I'll just leave it. Because if it's not important enough to be labeled, you know, I have no patience to <laughs> go through it. And then you get an energy sticker as well. And I know some of you may think that an energy rating of G is really, really bad. But I think this is just a new system that the European Commission has actually come up with. So I don't think this is bad at all. I think this is just par for the course for a monitor like this, this up to 1600 nits. So I don't think you need to be alarmed by G. But I think, you know, the European Commission has some sort of law that stipulates that manufacturers have to go below this rating in the next few years. So I think it'll be interesting to see how these 
8K TVs actually pan out in terms of their consumption needed. And these are HDMI cables, display port cables. And then what we'll do is we'll just put this aside. Because I'm sure you just want to get to the meat, the monitor itself. Oh, it comes with a i1 display pro colorimeter as well from x right and you can see that this is a custom branded colorimeter and i think many you know amateur calibrators are actually using this type of meter as well it's not that expensive but it is good to see that asus has provided one in the box to allow you to calibrate this monitor even further depending on your environment and depending on the drift of the monitor over time so that you can get accurate colors, you know, maybe even two or three years down the line. And then some warranty stuff, I think, or VIP membership program, which I'm not sure I am, you know, allowed to join. <laughs> and then if I can lift this styrofoam out of the way, my workshop is really cramped and I need to get a bigger studio, but you know, with the pandemic, I'm not entirely sure it is the wisest thing now for me to do. And if I can try to find some way to release this strap. So if I can try and... Oops. Right. Whoa, this thing is heavy. So this is the stand and you know it weighs quite a bit you know to give more stability to the monitor and I won't be like, actually hurling this around in case I break the monitor but it's not cheap you know so <laughs> let's put this aside and if I can find some way to release the Kraken fantastic and then we'll just Cover the base. So you can see this is very, very sturdy and it has the Pro Art moniker there with an Asus logo that is covered by a protective film because you know it is important to protect the brand. And let's try and see if we can get this out. Don't do this at home, kids. You know, I'm a professional. And This box is probably blocking the way, isn't it? So let's try and dispose of it. Right. Move the strap. Right, so this is the monitor, it's quite thick. I think, you know, I held it like this when I did my thumbnail for 
the PA32 UCX, you know, trying to get more people to click through to my videos. But, you know, it's uh, very, very sturdy as well. And what we're going to do is to try and find some way to fit it onto the stand. And if I can... And if I can slot this in, and then you need to press this lever. Right. I love the feeling when something just fits. And what we're going to do is to be very careful. Lift this up. So this is the monitor. And I believe that you can turn it into a portrait mode as well if there's enough clearance underneath okay so what i'm going to do is to spend the next few weeks or so you know testing this monitor and see what it can do in terms of color grading and in terms of trying to master bright HDR games with various, you know, VR functions. And I think this supports HLG and Dolby Vision as well. So I'll be giving them a whirl as well. If you have any particular questions about this monitor, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube section below. For more of our technical monitor reviews, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it. And I will see you in the next video.